New at 530 has been six years since firefighter Jason Adams was killed in the line of duty, shot while responding to a medical call. Now his mother is continuing her fight for justice, hoping to make sure the man who shot him stays behind bars. Our Kate Renesaf live at the Arkansas Firefighters Memorial with her story and to tell us why she feels six years isn't enough time. Kate Exactly. Phyllis Stroud visits here often. She comes to see the name of her son, Lieutenant Jason Adams, engraved in these walls here. But this morning, she had a much different view. She was standing before a parole board, trying to plead her case as to why her son's killer should stay right where he is. That's Jason's name right there. It's a place of sanctuary for Phyllis Stroud. Yes, it is. It's all leather lungs. Looking up at the metal firefighters who represent Arkansas's fallen, and looking down, I got a big one of that on one of her own. This day, I can walk through Walmart and people will stop and tell me what a hero he was. Lieutenant Jason Adams, a firefighter with both Sherwood and East Pulaski, Stroud has countless stories of his bravery and kindness, including the moment he answered a call to find a man in his last moments. Jason stripped down to his T-shirt and underwear and crawled in the car with the gentleman so that he didn't have to pass away alone. But this smile was dimmed January 2016 after Mark Pruitt shot and killed Adams while he answered a call. Now, six years later, he's up for parole. There really has been no closure. No moving on. Stroud has been to hearing after hearing, every year asking Pruitt serve his full sentence. He just hasn't bettered himself in any way. Today, she ran out of words, but used those of others to plead her case, not the only one grieving. May your name always be etched in the memory of the people of the communities you served. Such a young boy. Every time, it's difficult, but she comes back here to feel a sense of peace, a moment with her son, hoping justice will help her move on. I hope Mark stays in prison. I do not feel that Eight years was enough sentence. Now, Pruitt's earliest release date comes fall of 2024. He was first up for parole in 2018, but has yet to be granted it. A decision on this parole hearing should come on May 2nd. Reporting at the Capitol, Katrin Asaf, back to you.